combat medic. Combat medic is a support class that is pretty strong with a ultimate that instantly revives teammates that are down. This ultimate doesn't just pick them straight up. Um, it has a pulse wave first and then it'll pick them up. Um, so the farther away a teammate is, the longer it will take for them to get revived by the ultimate. Uh, so keep that in mind when you use it. If, you know, there's a Scion walking towards a down teammate who is across the map, then uh, if you hit your ult too late, then it might not pick them up by the time the Scion's already squished their head. Um, passive. He's got 50% health regen speed for everyone within 10 meters of him. Uh, and then you deal 30% more rifle damage. Pretty solid passive. It completely bypasses the regen penalty from one of the modifiers. And then 30% rifle damage is pretty nice. Uh, this is the standard build that I like to use. Uh, overdoing it. For most cases, it is just better than getup, especially for me, who where I have a low level getup. But even at getup level six, I think it is better to have overdoing it because it gives forced health regen and 32% uh, damage reduction. And it's four times undelayed health regen. So you're constantly just healing up and it's four times as much healing as normal. So you're just instantly full and you're having damage reduction. So it's a lot better than just 100% stim, if that's what it is at 6. Because stim, base stim, breaks very easy. So the only time you ever really use get up is if you have an infiltrator. Because infiltrator, you know, she's going to be across the map and um, in most cases. And then you all, you pick them up, they got full stim, they get the DR. Um, so then that's like the one case for get up being good, but every other time I would use overdoing it, uh, dodge 32% ballistic damage past five meters. Uh, as long as you're past those five meters from the enemy, then those ballistics would do 32% less damage, helpful headshots, a crazy, uh, stim generation card here, custom Lancer for just, you know, more Lancer damage. Perfect condition, 32% damage reduction over half health. Most of the time, with, between perfect condition and dodge with helpful headshots, you have stim, full stim, with 64% uh, ballistic damage reduction. So you can keep your stim up most of the time, uh, if not all the time. And uh, with the stim generation from helpful headshots and the damage from custom lancer and the passive, you can buy a GL. Uh, and just kill Mulcher Scions before they'll kill you, uh, provided that like you're at the right range from them. And you're not just standing, you have to be in cover for them, uh, to win that 1v1. What you could do is instead of overdoing it, you could do Team Repair. Because um, some people I know really like that. Uh, you could also do a grenade build where you use Grenade Pouch, suppressive recharge team repair and then whatever two cards you want like intervention and then for the fifth one you could do um overdoing it or well actually no what you would do is helpful headshots so helpful headshots grenade pouch team repair suppressive recharge and um intervention and those five cards then you're you're not really tanky at all, but you give t stim to the team, you pick people up when you are killing stuff with your grenades, um, you could also chainsaw like a juvie, pick up someone who just went down, um, and you're healing the fortifications. That's the type of builds you run with like uh, a squad in the party though, not really a squad like a random one. Um, Going over all the cards, overdoing it, great, like we talk, or talked about these five cards. Um, get up, like I said, just mainly only for infiltrator. Intervention, it's a cool card, but I don't know, it's too, it doesn't happen enough for me to actually want to use the card over my current setup because I don't have a whole lot of range. 
Um, 16 meters is pretty big, but not big enough for me to want to put it on. As well as I don't really get a lot of kills near my down teammates. It just doesn't really happen. Uh, suppressive recharge. I mean, if you're killing juvies and leeches, you're going to get a lot of cooldown off of this. But I like to just have a geo and a long shot and get my ultimate that way. And you can perk up uh, ultimate cooldown and get it back really fast like that already. Um, or you could also have a locker of boom shots because that's a pretty good way of getting your ult too. But if you're running custom Lancer and combat medic at base has 30%, uh, rifle damage. I would just use a GL, like get a locker of GLs, um, to get your ult back. But you can use the uh, suppressive recharge. Team repair. Um, with the grenade build, you could uh, just throw grenades everywhere and then like throw a couple at your feet, down yourself, pick it yourself up, and then just repair everything. It's pretty nice if, like, you know, you're not going to be. Um, needing to doing it any damage like you just go kill juvies and stuff then um, works out pretty well allows your mechanic or whoever's building to build a lot of level fours because you just heal it by half and this card one amazing thing about it is that it will uh, buy back fortifications no other card does that so you get free buybacks with this card and free 50% repairs, which is very good. Grenade pouch, just, you know, that goes with um, the grenade build. And then that's just more capacity. Healing bounty. I think it's an okay card when you're leveling up combat medic and going through the difficulties. Um, because you mark and then you heal to full, basically. So, well, whoever kills it heals to full. But on anything past, I don't know, Elite, I wouldn't really recommend using this card. That's around where I stopped using it, is past Elite. Uh, Snub, just use it in Escape, I guess. Uh, Razor's Edge, not a horrible card, but also not a great card. I used to use Razor's Edge instead of Custom Lancer back before he got 30% rifle damage from his passive and I used to use try shots on him but you don't really need this because if you're using a Lancer GL every single shot from the Lancer GL is giving you 30 stim and it shoots super fast so you just don't you're not really going under half health and if you do you're probably dead um, so in escape you could use, you know, Grenade Pouch and Suppressive Recharge on a couple maps. I think there's a map with a bunch of frags. So then you kill stuff, you get um, your ult. But I don't really think he fits uh, Escape too much. So he's um, got a Lancer and an Asher to start off with. And obviously a Snub. For his perks, he has Assault Rifle Damage, Crit Damage, cooldown and then there's one on the right that i forget oh I, no, no no he has health i think i can't remember his fourth perk but that's because it's bad i guess <laughs> um so you want to keep your assault rifle damage and your crit damage in a one-to-one -one. just have them the same level and do uh, if you want to have, or if you have one higher than the other, it should be assault rifle damage. Um, that way, even if you're not critting, it, you still get that same percentage of uh, damage increase. And then after probably like three or four levels into both of those perks, go into your cooldown. Um, you want to do damage first because you already get ultimate charge back for damage. Uh, so the more damage, the more cooldown. And then you just perk up the cooldown later. So then you're doing a bunch of damage. And then you just scale up how much damage uh, that ult gives you. It gives you as ult charge. So um, yeah, that's about it for combat medic. Just use a lancer. Shoot headshots. Don't die. Try to stay back and keep the team alive, you know. Um, ult immediately when... You know, a teammate goes down if they're super far away and they need to be picked up. Uh, and then... If you're using a GL, you should be able to get your ultimate back fast enough 
to where you can use it whenever the heck you want to. Especially later when you have um, your cooldown perk at 10 and your damage is at 10. That's when you really just don't care about when you hit your ult. And then just GL the bosses or big groups and then boom it's back. And that's Combat Medic.